I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. Today is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024, and a C-Day. Good morning, I'm Nika. Good morning, I'm Brody. Good morning, I'm Annika. The next Women in STEM meeting is after school today in room E21. Hope to see you there. Best Buddies will be meeting after school on Tuesday, January 23rd in W7. We'll have karaoke, games, coloring, and snacks. All are welcome. We'd love to have you there. Join Traders Young Women's Empowerment on Friday night in the auditorium at 7 p.m. for a screening of Mean Girls. The Webster PTSA wants to have some fun today by having staff and students wear a flannel shirt and or PJ flannel pants in support of Flapjacks and Lumberjacks theme day. Pancakes are on the menu for lunch from our awesome food service. The most creative or best flannel dress student will be chosen by Principal Benz and goal admin Miss Staff to win a box of munchkins bought by the PTSA. Future medical professionals will have a meeting on January 23rd after school in E218. A pediatrician is coming in to speak. We hope to see you there. That's it for me, and now over to Brody. Thank you, Nika. Girls JV and varsity lacrosse athletes, please meet in E205 after school today for a brief informational and planning meeting. There will be a science Olympiad team meeting today in SW5 at 330. Please plan to attend and bring your permission slip if you have not already turned it in. All students going on the France and Spain trip, there is a mandatory parent-student meeting Tuesday, January 23rd at 6 p.m. in room W223. See you all there. The library will be closed after school today for a staff training. That's it for me, and now over to Annika. Thank you, Brody. The JV wrestling team crowned four champions at the Attica tournament Saturday. Champions include Nixie, Matsy, Ethan C. and Tommy W. Meanwhile, the varsity wrestling team took first place at the Eastridge Tournament, crowning four champions. Champions include Cam A., Nick C., Grayson C., and David S. Congrats to all. Traders Math League competed in the fourth competition of the year on Tuesday, January 16th, after the wind caused the original competition date to be canceled. Our gold team earned a perfect score during the team round again. That's four competitions in a row. Jacqueline H. earned a perfect score in the individual rounds. Lance K. only missed one individual question. Ten members competed, earning 25 individual points and 16 team points, contributing to the team's success. Schrader earned fourth place in our division and scored above all schools in Division Two. That's it for me, and now over to a video about Trap Club. Let's face it, not every kid is cut out to play football, soccer, basketball, or other high school sports. But that doesn't mean they can't experience the fun, excitement, and camaraderie of team sports. That's because the USA High School Clay Target League is spreading to schools in your state and around the country. Doesn't matter if you're a boy, girl, homeschooled, or inexperienced. If you're in grades 6 through 12, have a firearm safety training certificate, and you're academically eligible, you can join your school's team. And that's when the fun starts. Everyone participates equally at all events, no matter what your skill level. The season takes place in the spring. You shoot 50 targets, and your scores are then tallied and compared with fellow shooters in your conference. And each season ends with a statewide tournament. And it's safe, too. Protection is worn at all times. Guns are only handled under expert supervision. And everyone involved is insured. You can earn a varsity letter and even take your skills to the next level. After all, clay target shooting is an Olympic sport, and there are plenty of colleges with great teams too. So get on board. Join your school's team today. 